Hello all, it's James Johnson aka Software Blade. Welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my content, and welcome back to another help video on Mist Legacy. So in this particular video we're going to be going on into how to get your transportation cart, um, which is kind of a, a part of the main quest line that you're going to get from the old man here at Throne of the, of the Troll. <clears throat> um, so when you go here uh, he'll give you this big spiel about all these things that you need to do. Uh, you need to put a workshop inside of your of your domain. You need to find a companion and get an assessment. You need to uh, acquire a transportation vehicle and you need to put accommodations inside of your domain. Um, the accommodations section of this is pretty straightforward. Uh, not much to go over. Um, the transfer, the getting the cart and acquiring the cart is probably the the portion that's most obtuse. So with that being said, we're going to then um, jump back into our domain. And just go over quick uh, what you're going to need in order to build the, the cart. So one thing you're going to need is well you're going to you're going to first click on craft and you're going to see vehicle here in here and you're going to end up clicking on cart and you're going to try to build it and you're going to find out that that just doesn't work because you need somewhere for the cart to be that's that's the first thing you're going to do so you end up finding out you're going to need to clear out a spot in order to place shelter the shelter is what houses your cart so you'll end up building the shelter and then you'll probably uh, once you build the shelter you'll go and click on the cart and try to build again and discover you still can't build the damn cart and you're kinda of pulling your hair out at this point because nowhere in the game has it told you that you needed a loading ladder in one of the covered parkings inside the shelter in order to build the cart but don't stop there the loading ladder is this recipe that does not come in your crafting list you know nothing about it you have absolutely no idea where to get this loading ladder recipe you have no idea that you need a loading ladder recipe put into your shelter inside of one of the covered parkings to even build the cart in the first place because nothing in the game is tells you about this so you will then go back to uh, portals jump into town it's uh, nighttime here so you're not gonna uh, I could jump into the inn real fast I suppose and sleep because you're gonna need daytime to do what we're gonna gonna do is we're gonna go over to this blacksmith area right um, and inside of the blacksmith is Charles Durger, whatever his name um, you'll click on Charles and you'll discover that in here is multi forge training this is basically an area where all of these different recipes are kept for crafting various things um, you will have needed to have gone to him before in order to get the recipes to craft uh, the different crafting uh, tools inside of your domain. So that's the first time you'll you'll visit this guy to get recipes is to unlock the recipes for crafting tools. That probably should be a how-to video but I'm gonna end up skipping that one. Um, anyway inside of Charles here you'll find the loading ladder. I think it's like 180 money or something like that. So you'll get the loading ladder here and then you'll end up going well, before I leave here, I'm going to work as a laborer real fast. And you go back into your domain. You build your loading ladder. And then Bob should be your uncle. You'll, you'll put it into the shelter the same way that you put the the uh, straw mattress into your 
mist manner to keep Ovi. You'll put the loading ladder into the covered parking in order to keep the cart. Now, a little bit further more information about the cart. The cart right now isn't going to do you anything. If you actually want the cart to do something, you're going to have to click on it here and add it to group. When it's in group, when you go back out to the world, you will discover that you have a much larger inventory capacity uh, than you would without the cart. It's a 1200 more inventory. Um, but having the cart in your group also limits kind of where you can travel depending on what type of cart you built. So um, the cart is not 100% 100% of the time useful. You're going to end up removing and adding the cart uh, to your party as you as you will need uh, depending on your needs, uh, what you're doing. Uh, the mule here, same thing, you can ungroup it and when you ungroup it you lose 450 transport capacity. You, it's considered a companion and you can only have three companions in the free-to-play account um, and OV as well you can you can ungroup and group depending on what the situation needs or dictates all right that should be everything about the cart and a little bit extra um, Actually, no, I want to cover one more thing. It's this outdoor workshop. So when you get this this group of, of four different things from the old man, this main quest line, he's going to talk about how you need to build an indoor workshop because your outdoor workshop is not good enough. And you're going to end up doing the the quest line and you're going to clear out an area and you're going to discover that you don't have the crafting for an indoor workshop. You only have crafting for an outdoor workshop. And you're going to be scratching your head as to why do I need another outdoor workshop if I already have an outdoor workshop? Am I should I really be building this building? And the answer is Yes, you should actually be building that building because it is uh, has a higher baseline capacity depending on how good of a building you built. I built a building that's capable of doing up to 23 in these various skills. The building itself is capable of that. Then I would need tools that would have to correlate to it. Because I only have tools in, say, sawing capable of 16, I can technically only do up to 16 in this skill. Um, because I only have a scraper capable of 11, I can only do up to 11 in this skill. However, scraper correlates to tanning, and if I get a scraper capable of 23 to put inside of my outdoor workshop capable of 23, then I can do skill uh, a sc tanning skills up to level 23 if I have the corresponding tool that matches the corresponding level of the outdoor workshop. The startup workshop you start with only has a level of 10. And as you can see, most of all the tools inside of my outdoor workshop are higher level than the startup workshop. So the startup workshop, you quickly become it quickly becomes useless. Um, <laughs> and so, yeah, it's it's from from what I can tell, you have no way of tearing it down. It just takes up room in your domain and. Uh, it quickly becomes obsolete and you just have this useless building sitting inside of your domain. Maybe it'll become useful later on, I don't know. I'm not that far into the story, but uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. Anyway, um, this has been a quick how-to guide about uh, getting your transportation cart and a little bit of extra um, things related to some corollary uh, items in the quests that are part of the transportation cart quest line. 
Anyway, I'm James Johnson, aka Software Blade. Hopefully, you're enjoying the content. If so, please smash that like button. Consider subscribing. And until the next time, all peace.